You know, when I go online and I look at a contractor or a home service or just a local business website, especially for somebody's out there trying to build out their own website, trying to get ranked on Google and get found online, I'm shocked at just how little content is really written on these websites. And these days, it's very, very important that you have enough content on your website, enough information to articulate, not just to your customer, but Google search engine that you are the expert in your field for the service you provide in that local market. However, I see these contractors are trying to do this themselves and they just can't come up with the content. And I completely understand they're not writers. They're not, that's not their level of expertise. They're out in the field, getting their hands dirty and stuff like that. And a lot of them are trying to do this themselves. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys how you could do some, some of this stuff, some of the writing yourself. I'm going to share with you guys some of my prompts, the outline of my, the way I structure a website. So it makes it easy to come up with around a thousand words of completely search engine optimized content, really good structure that you can write on your website that you connect to the Google business profile that'll push that business profile into that three pack of Google. So let me show you guys exactly how I do it for contractors. So you can use some of these tips and do it for your own business. What up there guys, it's here once again with Get Busy LLC, helping contractors, home services, local businesses, get their business found online and generate more leads for their business. So let's get right into it. And I'm going to share with you guys how to write some of the content of your website, how to add maybe like a thousand words to the homepage of your website and an outline and a structure that I follow that makes it easy for a human being to consume the content because a thousand words is going to be boring. It's going to be dull, but I break it up in sections and with my template, I, sh I break it up in easy consumable sections. And the design is basically set up not just for a human being, but Google's algorithm, Google's search, Google's crawlers, Google, whatever you want to call it. So when the web Google's crawlers crawl the website and read it, they completely understand exactly what this page is going to be about. And they'll take it seriously. They'll see that this base, this business owner knows his, his topic, knows his industry and is articulating it for that specific location. So let me show you guys my structure of my template. And I'm going to show you guys on the phone version of a, on a website i'm barely starting to fix it right now it's a work in progress but it's a good example so you guys could see exactly how i structure the websites and then after i'm going to show you guys how i come up with the con content using ChatGPT and some of the prompts that i use to do that let me show you guys so here's a website i'm currently working on it's a work in progress it's not complete but the very first thing i did is embed a youtube video on here because that's what he wanted but Right here, you could clearly tell what this website is going to be about. It's a roofing contractor in Cincinnati, Ohio. And you can see how I'm starting to break it up with the lines and make sure there's plenty of spacing. So it makes it easy for basically a human being to just scroll easily. I always like to make it in sections because us human beings are just used to scrolling now in sections and sections, things like TikTok and things like that. But you'll see right here, there's blocks of content that are designed specifically more for Google than they are a human being. Some of these headlines are for the human beings right here, but if somebody were to read it, it makes perfect sense and it's perfectly outlined and it's really uh, builds up the topical authority of this business. But you can see some of the services the, the guy provides here, um, pictures to go with it, little paragraphs to match each one. So again, I'm articulating to not just the human being, to Google. And this is what makes them different. And there's plenty of calls to action buttons on here. Then there's a section right here where the what the customer can expect when they reach out to this business. This is where I had the reviews, but it's not done yet. Like I said, I'm work, work in progress. Still working under email form right here. Final call to action. There's a footer that's not finished yet. But you see, when you go through this whole thing, there's like 1,200 words of content all about roofing services in this particular location. So here's the template that I use to build out the websites that I build out for contractors, home services, local businesses, things like that. And I've broken it up into little sections to make it easy for myself. I always tell people I built this template, this design, this structure specifically for me. So when people hired me out to build out their websites, I had a template, I had a flow, I had a structure to follow. So when somebody called me up for, let's say, somebody who does an RV park, um, I didn't know anything about RV parks. How do I write a website for that? 
this structure and design helps me to do that. When somebody reaches out that there are in a mobile RV repair service, again, I don't know anything about that industry, but this structure will help me write out that content, even though I don't know jack shit about any of that stuff. So this is the template that I used to make that happen. And I'm going to show you that same website I just showed you on a, a screen so you guys can see what it looks like on a screen. So when I build out these pages and all this website and all this content, I do it in sections at a time and I use specifically ChatGPT. Now, when I tell people to use ChatGPT to write your content, I always tell people that you should think of ChatGPT as a really smart college student that's a writer, right? If you told them, look, I need a writer to write the content on my website, you hired this kid to say you pay him 100 bucks an hour, then you bring him in. And let's say you are a roofing contractor in Cincinnati, Ohio, and tell him, and he sits down and you tell him, hey, what's up, Mr. College student? Listen, man, I am a roofing contractor in Cincinnati, Ohio. I need you to write 1,200 words of content for my website. Peace out. And then you leave, that kid's going to be sitting there, um, okay, I'm, he's going to be able to write it, but he doesn't know anything about your business. So he's probably going to do a bunch of research and just do like basic overviews of roofing. But so the more you tell the business that that, that student, the more you tell them about your business, the more detail you could give it about your business, the better the writing is going to be. So that's exactly how I use ChatGPT to help me write all of this content. So let me show you guys my first prompt. I call it the kickoff prompt. And you know what? I'll put it in the description so you guys could check it out. So this entire prompt right here I use and I basically say I'm building a website for a specific service and I need your help writing all the content. Before we begin, let me tell you everything I can about my business. So you have the full context, just like if I hired a smart college student to sit in front of me and write this for a hundred bucks an hour. And then I go in here, like I said, I'll copy and paste this, put it in the description. And then I start filling out all of this information. And as soon as I enter into that into ChatGPT and I hit enter, I want ChatGPT to come back and ask me further questions about the business. It's going to ask me more, just like the college student says, okay, thanks for all that information. Now I need these, these questions answered about what you do. ChatGPT is going to do the exact same thing with this prompt. And then I answer some of these questions and then I tell it to stand by. And there you go. Now ChatGPT knows as much as possible about the business, the history of it, the services I provide. Um, and this takes a little bit of time to do, but the better you are at training the ChatGPT prompt about this thing, the better your content is going to come out and it's going to make it so much easier to write it all out. So from that point forward, I work on both the title and the description here of the page, this section right here. And I use a prompt that knocks out two things. It knocks out the title tag and SEO description, as well as the title tag here and the H1 title tag here and the first line of content on here. And the prompt's super easy. It's right here. It says, I need help writing five different variations of a great sounding SEO title and meta description. The main keyword's going to be, for example, this one's roofing contractor in Cincinnati and write them out and take into account everything that you've learned about my business up to this point. And it's going to write all that content for me. And that's exactly what I did right here. Family owned contractor, uh, roofing contractor, Cincinnati, Ohio. The, the title tag up here says the same thing. Roofing contractor, Cincinnati, Ohio, the description set up, and then it writes this line of content for me. And then I got a section that tells, uh, I asked chat GPT, give me uh, two to four word prompts of features of this business. And there you go. It came up with these and I give a bunch of them and I write it all in here and then it's good to go. And then I go on to my next prompt. Like I said, I do it all in sections. If you just ask ChatGPT to write you 1200 words of content, it's going to come up with gibberish. You know, that's why I like to break it up in little tiny sections. That way I can go back and check it and make sure it doesn't sound like crap. And then I start fixing it as we go. Then I always call this section, the section to remind the customers exactly you know, why were they online in the first place? You know, there's a reason they went online to look for a roofing contract or a junk removal service or a carpet cleaning business, whatever it might be. So I always have to, a section to kind of like poke the customer and in a way agitate them and ask them, why were you online in the first place? So I have a prompt for that as well. And the prompt says something like this, list 10 problems an ideal client or customer needs or is looking for, for example, a roofing service in this location. What problems are they facing and issues are they having that would make them search for a business online, more specifically on Google? List them, list and write these 10 problems, ask questions, write the questions as their particular business was actually asking the client. And I'm not going to go into bore the hell out of you guys with this stuff, but this is the prompt that I use. 
And then it writes me out 10 questions. Sometimes I ask it to write me 12, sometimes 13, sometimes 11, whatever, right? So then I, it writes me out these 10 questions. And then I pick those questions that I like the most. And I place them on here. I pick seven. I pick the one I like the most at the top here. And then I write the six ones right here. And then, as I said in the beginning, the five SEO titles and meta descriptions, I'll use one of those five again for this section here. And there you go. Write it perfectly. And it just, like I said, spits this thing out in seconds. So then the next section I go into is I go in here. Now I tell the customers how and why we can help with their problem, right? So I have a big prompt right here that I set up. It took me a long time to come up with all this crap. Look at this huge prompt. I asked, I asked ChatGPT to write me five sections that I could write into this part of my template right here that we are the solution and why we're the solution. And I asked him to write me five because I'll pick three of the five that I like the most and I place it in here. And this is exactly what I did here, right? We listen, we care, we deliver. It writes me a great paragraph of how they're, they listen to the customer's problems before they go, you know, take a hammer to the roof or anything like that. Uh, we tell the customer that they're a stress-free roofing experience. They're really good at what they do. Um, they're really timely. So when they say they're going to do a roof, they're going to do it at this particular time. They do it. So I write a paragraph about that. And like I said, ChatGPT wrote all of this in just seconds because it knows so much about the business now with that kickoff prompt that I shared with you guys in the beginning. And again, there's phone numbers. And in this next section right here, Again, I wrote all this stuff for myself to make it easy for myself. The next prompt on my things that I use right here is I go in here and tell them, start introducing into the services that I offer, all right? So I, I created another prompt right here that I need a section written with an H1 title tag, some little sentences that basically is going to start introducing the customers to all these customers to the services that this business provides. I copy and paste this, pop into ChatGPT, and it comes up with a a nice little section for, for the business. So, and then this is the area we're going to fill out. And this, it came out with this trusted roofing contractor in Cincinnati, providing quality roofing gutters. There you go. And it comes up with this line that starts to introduce the customers to all the services this guy offers. Right. And then we move on to this next sections, right? So I use these prompts next SEO descriptions. So I now have a prompt for that. I'm going to need content for the main services under this category of the main service on this page, blah, 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 blah. Basically, when I build out these prompts, I built them out as if I was instructing somebody in my room here, that college student, like, listen, this is how I want everything written step by step. And this is exactly what I did. And then right here, I say list the services here. Boom. And it comes up with every one of these little paragraphs for my business here. And there you go. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, and the amazing thing about ChatGPT, there's no grammatical errors or any of that stuff. But I always go back and read it, make sure it's sense. It doesn't sound like gibberish. And again, ChatGPT knows so much about this business now because of that kickoff prompt that it's coming up with great content. And then, of course, I slap on pictures to match whatever the service is right there. And then I have a prompt that tells ChatGPT to write me a paragraph of what makes this business different from other, for example, roofing contractor. Let's say if it was a, a carpet cleaning service in Fresno, California, whatever. Right. So here's the prompt for that as well. I have a prompt for that here. Tell them what makes it different right here. What makes you different? For the industry, a specific prompt to tell ChatGPT to write this paragraph perfectly for me. And then we move on to the next one. Uh, what can the customer expect? I always tell people it's always a great idea to tell your customer what they can expect and they reach out to your roofing business, to your paving company, to your uh, carpet cleaning, to your deck building service, whatever it might be. Tell them exactly what's, what they can expect. It's going to make it easier for them to reach out to you. So again, I created prompts to write all this stuff out for me. And if you're the business owner, you know your, your uh, how do you say, your your methods more than anybody, you could give it even more detail to come up with even better, better steps of what they can expect. So I have a prompt for that as well. Like I said, all these prompts are like huge that, that built out over time. I copy this, pop it into ChatGPT, and it comes out perfect with what they can expect. And it came up with this line right here with this introduction paragraph. Here's the, what the customer can expect and four different steps. And then that's it. It's done with that. And then I go in here, check for the reviews. I embed a Google review code. Like I said, this is a work in progress. Uh, the email form, nothing too crazy here. You could just do this on the fly. And then a final call to action. I have a prompt for that as well. This was not too big of a deal. Final call to action. 
right? There's a prompt for it right here. I have that as well. Or like I say, you could just come up with it your own. I give examples on how to do that. And boom, that's it. Now you have 100% SEO optimized page right here. And it reads wonderfully, wonderfully well. And this should help this business rank eventually, especially if he builds out even more and more pages, builds out topical authority, you know, more, more pages about like the gutter installation, the roof repairs, more specific pages over and over and over again. Um, this page connected to that Google business profile is going to help push that business profile and give it a bigger radius and reach to reach out for more customers uh, in that location. I mean, so there you have it. That's how I write all the content for a website, especially for industries I know nothing about. Like I said, I built some weird ones in the past. Like I said, the one of some strangest ones I built was uh, an RV park. I've recently built out a RV repair service website. I've never done anything like that before. Some things I do know some of the stuff like roofing. I have some experience with roofing, of course, concrete, asphalt, junk removal, things like that. I'm familiar with those industries. But there's some industries I know nothing about, but as long as I follow those ChatGPT prompts and really be detailed in the instructions I tell ChatGPT, uh, like I said, I like to pretend he's a college student that's super, super smart. The more detail I'm going to give that college student, the better the writing that student's going to do for me. So that's the way I treat ChatGPT, and that's how you should build out your business. So if you're out there doing it for yourself, this should be even way easier. Like I said, you more than happy to, I'm going to share some of those prompts in the description, just some of them, because so many use all these prompts. But if you want, just pause the video on some of those prompts, take a, take a look at them and see if you want to use them for your uh, business. But my prompts are basically designed for the design, the, the, the template and the design that I already have set up for the businesses that I like to help out um, that reach out to me and want their websites uh, built out by me. However, if you want to build out your own website, you're more than happy to use my templates, my uh, prompts. Uh, you can check in the description below and show, I'll show you exactly how to build out your own website using my templates and my prompts, all that good stuff. Make sure it's 100% SEO optimized. And if you're a business owner who doesn't want to deal with any of this crap, you just want somebody else to do it for you, go in the description below. You can book a call with me. I can go over some pricing, what a really well-structured website would cost you to help push the Google business profile into the three pack of Google. When it's all said and done, all the websites have built, all the content that I write, all the stuff that I do specifically designed to push a listing, a Google business profile to the top of the search results. And all Google's looking for is making sure that you're the go-to company, that you know your topic, your industry inside and out in that specific location. And there's only one way to articulate to Google that you know your stuff. And that is with a website, with a bunch of great content, telling the search engine and your customers exactly what you do. And later on, adding more and more and more pages and the way you structure the pages and all that good stuff. But the fundamentals of writing good content page by page, making sure every page is SEO optimized and making sure everything's all dialed in. And like I like to tell people all the time, a lot of this stuff I've learned just from trial and error, just from building out websites, website after website after website, year after year after year of doing it and seeing what works and what doesn't work. And this is ultimately what I've come up with that seems to work extremely well. If things change, of course, I'll change along with them, especially with this AI stuff and all that good stuff to go along the way. So if you guys want to see how I learned some of this stuff kind of like on accident, you go ahead and check out this video right here where I go into it, how I kind of learned some of this stuff. Uh, other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.